Welcome to State of Tech. Here's an iPhone 6 tip for you. I'm going to show you what iCloud Photo Library is all about. If I open up my photos, you're going to see that I have all photos up here. I have 1,993. Now, all of those photos have been uploaded to the iCloud Photo Library, and they're being backed up for me automatically. Now, the way that I've done this is I've come into the Settings app, and I'm going to navigate down into the Photos and Camera tab right here in the bottom of the screen, and you see iCloud Photo Library. It's currently uploading two of the photos, so whenever I take a plethora of photos, say if I were to take anywhere from as little as one all the way up to 10,000 photos, it wouldn't matter. It's just going to be limited based upon your storage options, but it's going to upload it to iCloud that I can access it from all of my devices. Now I've enabled this and I've actually paid for a little bit more storage on iCloud to make sure I can fit my entire library up there. And I'm going to show you where you can do that here in just a second. But notice down below that where it says uploading two photos, I can optimize my iPhone storage or I can download and keep originals. What this means is if I optimize my iPhone storage, it's going to keep thumbnails on my device and upload the originals to iCloud and leave the originals there while maintaining a smaller resolution on my iPhone so it doesn't take as much storage. Now if I download and keep originals, it's going to upload the originals to iCloud and keep the originals on my device. It takes a little bit more storage, but if you're a photo enthusiast and you want to make sure you always have the highest resolution photo available, you're going to want to make sure and keep download and keep originals enabled. But if you optimize storage and if you ever need the original, you can always access it from your iCloud account. Now the way that I actually added some storage is I came into my iCloud, we'll come into here, and you see storage. I have 11.4 gigabytes available. If I tap on there, I see total storage, available, manage, and then change storage plan. If I change storage plan, it's going to allow me to come in here. You see my current plan is 20 gigabytes, which I'm paying 99 cents a month. But you can go all the way up to one terabyte for $20 a month. And this is going to affect all of your iCloud storage. You can use iCloud Drive to store files. But the main reason that I upgraded my plan was for my photo library. Since I had a big extensive library, I wanted to make sure that I had enough room to always make sure my photos were backed up and stored. And what's really great is being that I'm using iCloud Photo, we'll come back into here, I'm able to access all of these photos and videos from all of my devices. You see it says automatically upload and store your entire library in iCloud to access from all of your devices. So this means if I have an iPhone, an iPad, and a Mac, I can use photos across all three devices, and whenever I add a photo on my iPad, it'll upload and download to my iPhone and Mac, and if I take a photo with my iPhone, it uploads and downloads to my iPad and Mac. So it's vice versa. This is really convenient if you like to keep make sure all of your photos are always organized on all your devices. And what's really nice is if I come into the actual photo app, any change that I make in here is also synced across all my devices. So when I go favorite a photo, it favorites across all my devices. Whenever I create a new album, it creates the album across all my devices. And we have other videos on showing you how to add favorites and add albums to your photo library. So that is using iCloud Photo Library on your iPhone. And for more iPhone tips and tricks, be sure and visit stateoftech.net.